Hello. Well, I had a problem with my Fiat 500 liquid crystal display, uh, the bit in the middle there. Um, when I came to charge the battery, didn't realise that you have to disconnect the battery status plug on the negative terminal. Didn't do that, charged it, and then it actually blew that display, uh, which was a nightmare. Um, cost me £250 to get it repaired but the biggest issue I was concerned with was actually getting it out because I couldn't really find anything on the internet on YouTube about how to do that. Uh, I did find on a forum some description of how to do it and it was actually quite easy. Uh, I've actually in the process of putting it back in now um, but I wanted just to show you how it was done. It's quite easy really. Um, this is the, this, this obviously dismantled now but basically that goes on the bottom of there of the steering column and it's obviously a part now but effectively all you've got to do is here and here there are two Phillips screws which hold this bottom cowl of the steering column on so once it's assembled you basically undo these two screws one here and one over here take that and then you basically have to just separate that lower part from the upper cowl they kind of snap in together with some like little clips, but if you're just a bit careful, you can separate the top and the bottom bit quite easily. And then the upper part of the cowl of the steering column here is actually held on with two screws underneath. Um, if I take it off, you can see where the screws are. See, there's two, two screws there, one there and one there. Uh, so when it's actually on like that, once you've taken the bottom cowl off, as I mentioned, just with those two screws, when you go up underneath and have a look, if you go just to the just at the side of the steering indicator uh, column, uh, you'll you'll be able to just reach up into there, unscrew a Phillips screw head, one on each side, and then that allows you to take this upper cowl here off, like so. So that then separates the lower and upper steering column with just four, four Phillips screws. And then you have to get this trim off from around the actual um, the instrument cluster. But again, uh, all it is, is if you just release your steering column adjustment and then push the steering wheel down as low as it will go, you will see actually that there's a screw hole there a scroll on the other side there and actually one excuse me just at the top and they have a torx t10 screw in them and so if you just push that down a little bit once that screw well you can access both screws on both sides take them out easily get to the one uh, up here and once those three screws are out uh, it just tucks, it just the left hand side of it and the right hand side just tucks into that the trim but it's easy to get it off, it just comes out quite easily. So that's that now out as well. You can see the screw, there's one, two, and then one underneath, so that's easy. So now I've got access to this, the instrument cluster there, relatively quickly. And you'll see that at the bottom of that, there, there's another screw, another screw on that side, and then two at the top there. They have got Torx T20 screws in them, slightly bigger. But again, if you take this screw out here, this one here, and the two at the top, you can then take the instrument cluster out, like so, and then there's just a a clip on the back, you just uh, push that orange clip down and it unplugs the cluster from the actual uh, car and then you can send that away to be repaired. So reverse of that obviously gets it back in again, um, but just be wary of charging your Fiat 500 uh, with a smart charger. If it's a stop start engine, you need to use a smart charger and it's a smart charger that blew my display in the middle. And uh, apparently there's a, well, I know now that there's actually a, a little plug-in sensor on the negative battery terminal that you've got to unplug before you charge the battery. 
Um, so I think it's also the same on a Ford KA as well, so just be careful. Although that doesn't have an instrument like this, so it might not be as much of a problem. Thanks for watching. Cheers.